Hey guys, welcome back. It's the original baddies here. I'm one of your first hosts, Herbert. Ronnie. Enrique. And Jonathan. So finally, we don't have uh, Ramon, but Ronnie and Ramon is double R, so I think they should be together. Yeah, but I'm going to be the first one to say I think I just, uh, Ronnie's just way better. You think so? 100%. Okay, in the last podcast, we said that Ramon was better. But no, we were hey. all, I was, I was lying to make him feel oh, good. Okay. Plus he's, he's law enforcement. So I don't know. Yeah, that's true. We got to like support our, our were you, friends. Were you scared? Did you feel threatened? Well, I just didn't want him to like, yeah, come on. You know how they get on the videos. <laughs> you think Ramon, you think Ramon ever cries? Yes. No? No. No, no actually, I, no, I won't say it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's start though. So we want to bring something up though. Um, Recreation.gov. Do you guys know that website? I know. Well, that website is a lot of hikers or whatever nature enthusiasts. They use it to get uh, permits to hike mountains such as Mount Whitney, anywhere. Like, remember COVID when uh, everything was shut down, like all the gyms? The number one thing, everybody turned into nature junkies, right? Like going to trails and all that. So they ended up using recreation.gov because, you know, that's where they're limiting everything. So one interesting fact about this, though, is uh, Rick is going to say this. Who owns this recreation.gov? Uh, booze. Booze Allen, right? Booze Allen, yeah. So they own this. Which is and interesting because it, it, it's a .gov website. So when it ends in .gov, everybody assumes that it's a government website as the DMV and other government websites. You, you think the money goes there and it's you know controlled differently, but it's just some random guy that owns this and gets billions of billions of dollars. Jonathan has a number. Or millions, that. but like 100, millions yeah, 140 million. For just a, charging yeah. the $2 entry fee for some national parks or for doing the lottery tickets for national parks or hikes so that's that's crazy to think about you know when yeah so um i know herbert said that yeah there's other companies that do that i understand herbert but like <laughs> i never knew that this company like or recreation.gov was owned by a uh, other company um i know that if if uh rick if, like the rangers went back to like the old school way then you had to do pen, pen and paper like the permits which it Kind of be cool, right? Pen and paper. Okay. I guess. Save, save the trees, man. You can't uh, do that sure, anymore. I guess, I guess. But uh, bring the iPad out now. Bring the iPad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know everything is an internet, but I know I just wanted to bring it up because it's just like when I heard it today. So we heard it from another podcast, me and Ronnie, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Some other podcast that we listened to, and it was just I don't know. It hit me like I was like, "What? This is it, it's inter it's interesting, you know, to hear it." What yeah. If, what if there was like a podcast.gov website and it was like, "Oh, they call the baddies like we need a mediocre like podcast." To like, uh, I'm down to represent the United States of America. I will we'll do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Do it too. Well, we'll, we'll say that we love Recreation.gov. <laughs> no, but it's a it's a cool website. The cool thing is that you like like I said, everything is going towards like uh, internet, right? You electronically. Do yeah, electronically. So you don't have to worry about the pen and paper going there and then signing up, because uh, you do have to travel to these national parks. They're not around the corner. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys. So now you know an interesting fact. So next time you're book booking, you're like permit like to go wherever now you know where your two dollar fee goes to or whatever fee that you pay goes mm -hmm. to somewhere else than the government you know but it's it is what it is uh i does just wanted to bring it up does the money go back to the national parks no only the only the when you win the lottery you know when you win the lottery so you do a lottery system then whatever fee you pay then it goes to the rangers or the parks so that's until you win the lottery though if you lose then that you money goes somewhere else yeah so, so. It, it's interesting because I, I guess recently, this is an, an article from March 15, 2023, so a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a recent lawsuit claims that the company is defrauding Americans of tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars because, again, the money's not going. It's supposed to be for, for nature, for the love of Earth, you know, Earth Day. Send the money back to the mountains or to the national parks, but it's not. It's just one guy making millions of millions of dollars, and that's where, where all of us hiking community like spend our money on. So it's, it's just interesting to know where it's going. So just so you know... You can have your two cents if you look at the website and stuff. And and it's crazy to know that you have to do a permit. I understand some some trails are like. Remember when we did Zion? Uh, uh, what what is it? The Angels Landing. Angels Landing. Remember how it was it was packed? Remember and I told you guys like we didn't have we need we didn't need to get a permit. But after that, like a month later, or like a year later, you had to get a permit. So we got lucky without doing the permit. But I understand that there's some places that you Just need for safety yeah, reg right. regulation. Cause remember it was kind of dangerous. Remember how like we're going up the cables or the chains mm -hmm. and there's people like not even like being, um, what is it? Uh, trail etiquette. Like they weren't even giving us a right away. Remember like we had to wait for them and it was like, it was, it was bad. Yeah. It was fun, but it was bad. Like it was a cool view. <laughs> um, and I love Zion. It's like, it, that was like the baddie trip on 2019 or 2020. Remember yeah, yeah. Damn, that was a long time ago, but, um, 
you know, we do want to go back to these uh, national parks, like such as Grand Canyon or Yellowstone is really beautiful. So um, I don't know, guys, just keep it out there uh, where you guys are like spending your money money on it. But I don't know, just I guess that's the only way that you could get the permit. And that's the only way that we could do it, you know. But um, moving forward, though, I want to give a shout out to Maribel and Mel. So I don't know if you guys heard it, but they're called the M&M, M&M squad. So I told Maribel, I was like, okay, so who's who's first? Like Mel or who's Maribel? The, who's the first time? Yeah. Yeah. So the first one, I guess, is Mel. So Mel is first and then second is Maribel. But Maribel, though, she killed it. This past weekend, she went to up to uh, Iron Mountain in the snow. And not only that, she went to Mount Baldy the second day on Easter Sunday. So... Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Like on Easter Sunday, she did the Baldy Bowl, Mountain Baldy. So was she hiding eggs over there or what? <laughs> nah, she wasn't hiding eggs. She was hiking or like uh, mountaineering. So give her props, him. But yeah, um, I don't know. What do you guys do on Easter Sunday though? I, I didn't go hiking. Did uh, what did you do, Herbert? What did I do? Hide hide your eggs or what? No. Oh no no. I just like hung out. Like I just chilled at home. Honestly. Barbecue or something? Yeah, I just ate. That's it. I don't know. Nice. anything. Yeah, special. same. Honestly, hung I, out I with the family. Of, yeah, I, I, wish, saw that. I wish I was in Iron Mountain. You know. Or I Mount Baldy. Or Mount Baldy, whichever. Yeah. Hey, Enrique, what did you do on Easter Sunday? Uh, family time. My grandparents came down from Mexico for a few weeks. So it was a good reason to have all my family from that part of the family come down and visit. So it just happened to be a coincidence that it was Easter Sunday. So. And then, and then uh, what else? Uh, did, you guys, did you guys eat candy at all? Like, I have a lot of, like, nephews and nieces. I so had tequila and whiskey. I'm talking about That's cho- adult candy. Yeah. but oh, I'm talking I thought, about- oh, you're talking about... Kid like candy. chocolate, yeah. Like oh, like sugar candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, then no. Oh, you're whack. <laughs> Ronnie, did you? What did you do on Sunday? Easter Sunday? Oh yeah, like I said, I mean, I just hung out with the family. Um, yeah, there were a few models involved, which was cool. Kind of saw that or what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Who grills you or your dad? Or your uh, my brother. Nice. Yeah. Dude, kind of saw that got expensive. Yeah. Like, I, like I don't know if you guys know, but like, kind of saw is like fifteen dollars a pound or like thirteen. Depends where you buy it from, but dude, it got expensive. Yeah, man. But it's good though. I love the kind of saw with the frijoles and the rice on the side and the guacamole. Never forget the guacamole. And you, Enrique likes you the chili. You gotta throw habanero because I like spices. So you gotta throw some habanero chilies in the in the guacamole. Um, bomb. Okay, but after you eat chili though, the you, next day or whatever, whenever hey, you go to so, the some people have bodies that don't allow spices. That's fine. Mine loves it. I, I go to the restroom just fine after eating an enormous amount of spicy food. My 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 uh whatever you want to call it does not appreciate spicy. So. My metabolism loves it, so it's okay. No, yeah, I I'm literally dying the next day. <laughs> There's a slight burn if you eat too much. Cheese. No, not for me. It's, it's, it's hot down there. It gets no, spicy. It comes out faster. It's better. No. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're talking about the speed of how much you sweat when you eat spicy oh, food. That's true, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so your favorite chili is habanero. Uh, Enrique No that I, I'm just in, for guacamole Like you were saying But Okay what's your favorite chili Ooh I don't know I mean I don't know honestly I don't know how to answer that Jalapeno I, I guess the, really. the most common That I would use I guess In my meals Would be serranos probably Ronnie Because jalapenos aren't spicy Ronnie used ketchup I, I didn't even nah, know Ronnie's I didn't like, even know oh, There were like, like Different ones <laughs> No bell peppers yeah, It's pepper. like Tapatio or like give me, Yeah give me tapatio some that's Valentina it. It's the most I'll do And even then I'll do like a Two drops and then uh, Herbert, what do you guess? Jala- jalapenos, but I really never thought of this. But jalapenos, I guess. You know what I like? A jalapeno poppers. I never, I had them like one time. It's not my thing. You know, you don't like it? No. You don't like cream cheese? What? No, I don't like it. When cheese. you say jalapenos, are you talking about the ones in vinegar? Yeah, or, I like those. Or, or the ones just, just it doesn't raw. matter. I, I either, either. I like both. Why? Do, what, do you have something against the vinegar ones? There's a slight judgment. No, not at all. I They're mean, good, I, I'm right? just asking for your preference. I love both equally. But do you do, I, Wait, do you do the like take a bite of the food and then take a bite of the jalapeno? Or do you already have the jalapeno inside of the food? Uh, it has I to both. be separated for me. So you do, you do the bite and bite. I, yeah, I, I do the bite and bite. I, I feel like cause it, it has to be fresh. It's like certain ingredients yeah, that have yeah, to be yeah. fresh on the plate. You can't like you can't put lemon and then cook something. Plus, you could also proportion the amount of bite of the jalapeno, which is uh, crucial. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I do like chili uh, chili peppers. Uh, the green, the was the yellow ones that In and Out has. Oh, oh like banana peppers. little banana peppers. Banana peppers, yeah, whatever you want. Okay, yeah, I'll do those. You oh, know, Ronnie, you won't do any, dude. You, no, I will. I will. Yeah, no, I never okay. seen you. Okay, let's give go me, right out in now. Give me grilled onion and like chopped chilies. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do that. Okay, but you're gonna be sweating though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he's gonna have no shirt on. Like it's a. He's gonna act like there's a fire or something. Yeah, talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, talking about fire though. So something interesting. This happened. is how you segue, Jonathan. Yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> so Ronnie, tell us about this uh, fire stuff. Um, that uh, I don't know, oh, like goodness. how it happened, but go let us know. Yeah. Give so, I mean, honestly, it was a small fire, but as most of you know now, um, there was a fire. Literally right next to, obviously, I stayed with Enrique. He's like, 
you know, my uh, my, my, my landlord my parents, in my a parents. sense. Yeah. Anyways, Enrique is the boss. <laughs> so our neighbor's house caught on fire. The co- the garage or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me tell you what happened. <laughs> I'm watching Netflix, right? And I hear this loud bang. And I was like, oh, man, like something fell in the backyard or something, you know? So obviously I'm not, I'm almost done with my episode. You know, I put it down. It was already late. It was almost 11. I closed down my laptop and then I hear like some commotion outside, like screaming. So I'm like, yeah, like loud talking, yelling. I was like, what the heck's going on? Mind you, all my lights are off at this point. And then I see like from outside my window, like there's a, there's a red glow. I was like, what the heck is that? Like in my head, I was like, that's a fire. So then I open my door <laughs> But naked. Me oh, and Enriquez. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was kind of hot that night. I was only in my undies. Like, I'm not going to lie. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, what kind of, what were you packing? What kind of undies? <laughs> boxers. Just boxers? Black, whitey tighties? No, black With boxers, baby. little stain. All right, <laughs> 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 go. I open my door, and sure enough, I see the neighbor that I never really see, like this older lady. <laughs> and she's just like frantic, man. Like, she's like, oh my God, like, you need to leave. You need to get out. In Spanish. Yeah, in Spanish. And I was like, <laughs> what like i was like go to the street because immediately as i my vision went from her to like her house right in back of her and there's like flames like sky high bunch of smoke and i was like oh like i froze and i was like go to the street like because she was wondering if anybody was in the back or anybody was in the house and i was like no like go to the street go to the street like i'll get them out (laughs) immediately i threw on my pants threw on my boots i threw on a hoodie because it was kind of cold and i was like okay like i need Right before I leave my house, too, every day, I always do wallet. Okay, I need my phone, my wallet, my keys, and my watch. So, literally, I grabbed those things, and I, I ran out. And I was like, honestly, anything else I could just buy, buy later or whatever, you know? Like, I don't care about anything else besides my own safety. So, then I noticed, I ran out. I noticed that Enrique's car wasn't there, and I was like, okay, he's, he's in school. So, I'm calling Enrique's dad as I'm, like, banging on his door. And by the second call, like, he answers, like, half asleep. And I was like, yo, you need to, like, get everyone out here, like, now. It was, like, midnight, right? Close to it, yeah. So then, yeah, immediately he comes out. And I was like, hey, like, the neighbor's house is on fire. Like, we need to move. Like, get everyone out. Just try and move your cars out of the driveway. Um, Yeah, sure enough, I helped him do that. By that time, like, I don't know, there were, like, six fire trucks in there. And, like. I don't know, like three police cars. And the whole neighborhood. The whole neighborhood <laughs> was outside, man. Thank God I didn't walk out naked. I almost mira, did. Mira pasando, eh? <laughs> all the wow. chismosos. Mira, mira, mira. <laughs> yeah, at the end, Facebook Live, you know? Yeah. Like, no, nah, man. I was like, yo, like, so we got out. They immediately put the fire out. It was maybe like within 10 minutes of me walking out. The fire was down. Um, They went to go check on like, I don't know, the roof, I guess. I saw a chainsaw and like an axe. It was crazy out there, man. It was it's pretty hectic. I think I texted you guys at that point. You sent the video. Yeah, which by the way, no one replied to it. My life could have been in danger, but only no, Jonathan, called, Jonathan called, called me. So okay, so let me just I think I was asleep. I looked looked at it in the morning. I was like, what the hell what happened? Like what happened? Yeah. So Jonathan has an interesting story because he he could have been the first to know without even being there because of the ring cameras, which he can tell the story. But yeah, yeah. so real quick, so I was like hanging out in the kitchen and uh mind you, I go to sleep like around eleven thirty or twelve. And then I ended up like going on the ring, on the like I got a notification on the ring, right? And then um I was like, okay. And it said house on fire. And it said, like I said the street. I saw the street and I was like, this street sounds familiar. I kid you not, I said that. But I was like, nah, it's not my parents' street or anybody. So I was like, ah, whatever. I kinda like let go, right? But I called Enrique because I just wanted to, I don't know, I just sometimes I just call him just to chat, chat it up, or how's his test or how's his studying going, whatever. He didn't answer me too. So I was like, alright, whatever, like it went through. And then he calls me back, and that's when he tells me about you, right? Like, hey, Ronnie's out there. And I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, no wonder. And then I went back on the ring, and, I like, the ring, ca- one of the houses captured the, the, fi- the like, the, oh, the like flames, footage? you know? Yeah, yeah, and it was pretty far away. It was, like, close to the 210 freeway. Oh, wow. So I was like, what the hell? So and then that's when I called you, Ronnie. I was like, hey, everything's good, or what's going on? He's like, and then Ronnie gave me the rundown. But I was like, man, I could have been the first one. I, I could have like basically called you but I, I guess by then you were already outside and stuff yeah yeah I was like carrying Enrique's whole family on my back you know <laughs> trying to run out get him to safety thank but you it, that is crazy though that video that you send us though you're right dude uh, it just scary, um, it's scary like 
flames could go jump from house to house or for anything like if there's like yeah like it's crazy it could just jump you, you know you don't know what could happen next yeah yeah and you know ronnie was a freaking lightsaber because he was able to help you know enrique's family you never know it could his house could have jumped yeah, over yeah. and then yeah, like ronnie's um he was able to move the cars like from the driveway because it was like kind of close so you know those cars you, you don't want your car to turn on fire you know yeah. so hey ronnie props to you I Thank bet. You guys. Yeah, so you're a superhero, Enrique. You He's know my what? hero. Enrique should have been in there earlier, though. He was just like he my, was my mom. Of- well, the, still is talking smack because I was supposed to be quote unquote the hero, and I was like, like there's there's Damn. nothing I could have done. Like realistically, if I was there, like I mean, I'm in my room. My room has no windows to the outside world, and like if I'm wearing headphones or whatever, like I wouldn't have heard anything. Like I think if I was there, Ronnie would have been the one to tell, let me know. But just like I wish Ronnie was my son. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna take over in Rika's room, like no, no, starting no. next month. I man. think you know, Ronnie. I think you should ask the parents. They start for, giving you money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie. I think you should get a, uh, a rent deduction. For real, man. Yeah, because you like you're a lifesaver. That house could have been burned my, down. My hey, hero. no. Next time, don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just you're gonna be like, you know what? Not this time. Uh, <laughs> not today. <laughs> hey, just pack your stuff and just go home. Or go to your parents' house. <laughs> no, but I, I did call I did call Ronnie though. I was like, hey Ronnie, because I know they weren't letting them going go back in the firefighters. Like I don't know how long. Yes, he had out yeah, there for honestly, a while. Yeah, honestly, I didn't know how long I was gonna be out, or like I don't know how. But, but no, yeah, I remember talking to Jonathan. I was like, hey, dude, like I might need a place to sleep tonight, or I don't know, because I didn't know whether my room was gonna be filled with smoke just because I was directly next to the fire. It's a hot box. <laughs> <laughs> so room. I was like, hey, like, and obviously, I mean, I have my parents too, but honestly, Jonathan was like, hey, man, like, if anything, I have an extra room, like, you can come here, like, you know, Wait, I that, got you, bro. That was on Thursday, and I remember, mind you, I, I run on Fridays, and I'll talk about that, but I told Ronnie, I was like, look, I'm about to go to sleep right now. It's 12 o'clock. Yeah. I was like, just call me five, four, five, five like, whatever, how many times to, like, wake me up, because I'm going to have my phone on loud, because mm-hmm. I always do, and I was like, if you have to crash... Like just come over, you know, yeah. like and then whatever. And then, but I know you waited for Enrique to get there from school, mm-hmm. um, and I guess you guys were hanging out there till the firefighters cleared out. The- yeah, we we had like just one beer to just kind of just after every after all the commotion was over. After I got there, it was just like I guess paperwork you can say the firefighters were just moving out stuff and whatever. So we had a beer and just enjoyed. Yeah, like it, people but, went away. Um, but I feel like at that point too, I was telling Enrique, I was like, hey man, like I don't know, like if it's either like adrenaline or something, but like I was like so awake and like so like. Like it, it, a yeah. jittery in a sense, like I was like, dude, I need to chill out. Like I was like, I'm gonna wait for you, and we need a beer. <laughs> so he's sure. like, yeah, wait for me. Like I got beer in the back. I was like, of course you do, man. And I love you. It's funny, or maybe not funny, but like it was horrible or sad, I guess, because on my way home, um, I got stopped like five minutes away from home. Like I was about to enter the two ten freeway, um, so I was in the six hundred five standstill and traffic. All traffic, like it was. Oh, I had like eighty miles an hour the whole way to to home, and then at the end when I was so close to home traffic just all completely stopped and at that time there's no traffic so immediately i assumed there must have been an accident but i was just mad because i was like dude i'm trying to get home my family might be in danger there's houses on fire and i'm literally five minutes away but i'm stuck on freeway in the last lane for like 15 20 minutes like That's literally nice. when i'm five minutes away from home so the, for me it was just it was just an anxiety of like dude like i'm so close just building more tension yeah because like, i'm anxious. like like i'm trying to just yeah. get home fast and like and i got stuck Unfortunately, the next day I found out that I guess there was a, a big car accident. I think it was like three, four cars, and oh, a, a young girl died. Oh shit! So like it, it's a, it was a sad story, but I, where I was at, I couldn't see anything that happened. After we were able to move again, I just started driving. Like I didn't know anything, but like it was the next day that I found out that it was it was an accident and someone died, and, and it sucks. It was sad, but a lot happened that day. Honestly, like a lot. I, I took exams, house <laughs> on fire, someone died. It sounds horrible. It was just a crazy day, honestly. The good that, thing that beer was well deserved. Yeah. And the oh, good yeah. the good thing is that like your house, Enrique, your parents' house, nothing happened to it. So hey, that's that's blessing. a ble- that's a blessing for sure. And um, Ronnie, like I said, man, you're a superhero, dude. Like I'm happy that you're awake too, because if you guys were all sleeping, then well, I guess the firefighters were waking you up and like, hey, get the hell out yeah, of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy to see like you know what could happen. I'll, I'll, I'm curious, like, how, what is it like, like the firefighters? Did it take long for them to like like put out the fire? Did they arrive quickly? No, so yeah, by the time I actually went out, like I'm pretty sure, yeah, there was like a fire truck already there. Okay. So then within minutes, yeah, like all these other ones came up and then yeah, immediately they started hosing it down. Um they had asked to go to like our backyard, just because I mean we're directly next to it. And I have a video too of like Enrique's dad like pointing everyone like 
the, some of the firefighters like hey like yeah go back there like it's cool but no like within 10 minutes honestly of me walking out the fire was already down it was just oh, smoke okay. at that point yeah oh, okay, okay. yeah so yeah i don't know man it was kind of scary though because i mean while i was getting ready i was like knowing that there was like something that exploded because i did hear it i was like dude i don't know what else they have in that house like could be a meth lab could be i don't know a water heater but i was like yo if anything else pops like i'm dead <laughs> that's, that's why i ran out as soon as i could i was like no like I'm out of here. See, but uh, I don't know what I would have done, though. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, what did I take? Like, you're right. I'll take my wallet and, I, like, my Good passport. IPad. I don't know. Like, well, what, what did I take? Monica? Monica. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, I don't know. Like, think about it, Froze. What would you take? Like, Kerber? Like, I Kerber? think, honestly, I think Rishwani has it right. Just your essentials, whatever you can carry in your pocket, and then whoever you love, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I, didn't, I didn't bring up this part, but. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I had like my Coachella box with like my three wristbands in there because oh I had ju- it just arrived a week before <laughs> and it was oh. sitting there like on my little table and I was like dude if those are gone like those are gone bro so I grabbed them and I put them <laughs> in my pocket <laughs> and I ran Brian, out I didn't know that Brian, did you step out the house and you did like a little back and forth you looked at them do you look back out like no I gotta go back <laughs> <laughs> I kind of did I kind of did do that and I was like bro. yo it's Coachella and I was like no I gotta I like grabbed them really quick I put stuff in my hoodie pocket you're like and bad I ran buddy. Out. Bad like, the no. firefighters are trying to pull you back out yeah 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 <laughs> yeah no I I booked it man it, it's funny because when, when I found out everything and I was on Long Beach I was so far away but because I didn't know how bad the fire was I was thinking like dude I, if I was there like I can't there's a lot of things in my room that I do not want to get burned. Yes. <laughs> like, why are there so have... many sex stories here? <laughs> <laughs> no, why like, is there five cameras? I'm talking about, like, just my, my technology, like, my, sure. my laptop, my my PC, my TV. Like, it's, 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 all, a, it's all a couple <laughs> thousands of dollars. So, like, I wouldn't want to lose, yeah. you know, some money just because shit got burned. Hey, bro, but that's why you have insurance. I mean, on what? Well, on your TV? On your, on your well, PC Well, you have build? a family insurance, bro. Like family a fire, insurance. Or no, fi- fire insurance, yeah. Not family, the, sorry. I mean, uh, you're in the military. Can you just call Biden? Like, dude. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I can text Are you in them, the chat? Do you see Ronnie's video? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the chat with him and Trump. And like, they're, they're always <laughs> arguing, dude. But it's fun. It's, it's a crazy chat. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I feel like, I feel like, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll take, I guess, the same thing that you, Ronnie, except the Coachella tickets. Because I don't have any Coachella tickets. But <laughs> I'll probably just take a... Uh, yeah, the, I guess the essentials. And I have folders. Well, I do have a folder that has like a lot of like important documents. So I'll probably you, take you that. You started to take all the baddie gears. Like, <laughs> we don't have enough time. Like, your Monica's trying to argue with like arguing with you. Take the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I joked around with you that night yeah. too. I was like, yo, dude, I almost took the baddie stickers, but I left them back. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> threw them at the fire? <laughs> Started crying? Nah, but yeah, it's crazy. Like, at least for us, everybody's like safe and sound though. Like, in, like I said, family first. So Ronnie, for us, like, man, like, you really like brought up like that family you know community like you you went above and beyond and like you you thought about enrique's family first like and enrique doesn't even think about his family okay first of <laughs> all Dude, enrique, enrique <laughs> he, was, he wasn't he, even he, there he bro. was in traffic trying to get his degree no mama's <laughs> way there's a fire <laughs> i'm joking enrique. no look it's funny because on i, I it, it was a thursday right a thursday yeah. and i got a class late and I normally go home immediately after class. And that time I actually stayed in school <laughs> hanging out for a bit, you know, just for a bit. Cause I, you know what? I just took an exam. I was like, I'm gonna hang out with some friends. Just hang out for a bit. The first time I stay on a Thursday night, there's a house on fire. Someone dies in the freeway. It was a crazy day, dude. But yeah, no, if I was home, I'm telling you, I don't know what I would have done differently. Like take out anything. I mean, like Jonathan, phone keys, wallet and important papers. And I guess sacrifice technology. I'm not gonna carry a TV out or my PC. <laughs> Dude, I just built like, this. Like it's it's I don't know. Like take pictures and then tell police. Or he tell comes someone. out in full marine uniform. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's that no, gonna Roddy, do? You just roll your eyes like, oh my god, any chance he gets. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's crazy though. But it, I don't know. It's just it's the thing is like the weather though. The weather's been it's been raining right, and it's yeah. been like fog. So I want to talk about the fog though. It's like it's really been foggy every day and. And over there in Long Beach, the marine layer, like now I for sure believe the marine layer, you know how mm-hmm. they say like, oh, it's going to come from the, like, the fog is going to come from offshore and, and stuff like that. And I know Enrique, like he goes to Kelsey Long Beach, so he sees a marine layer, right, Enrique? Like you see all the fog, like driving home at night. I do. So it's like, it's like so much fog. And then today we went hike, uh, instead of running, we went hiking to Open Door. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like we we're going up there, Open Door, and then we see like the fog. Like we're like, well, we're gonna be on the fog, like in the fog, right? And then Ricardo says, like, he's like, bro, it's raining, but it's like the fog, you know, like the mist. Mm-hmm. But it was a fun hike, though. So yeah, so we ended, we ended up doing open door for this uh, 
the running event. <laughs> so it was like I said, open door is only one mile up, 900 feet elevation gain. And then um, we, we're laughing because something happened. <laughs> I hope the mics caught this, but uh, yeah. So we ended up doing this hike because um, uh, I promised a running club, you know, to do the hike instead of running because uh, we want to switch it up sometimes, you know, have a good time. Uh, so yeah, and then not only that though, I, um, the reason why I'm bringing up the fog is because I went bike riding in Long Beach, and I like I said, I thought it wasn't gonna be that cold, but when the with the wind and the fog involved, it makes it it didn't make it miserable. But when you cycle, like it gets kind of cold. Like you guys know when it's cycling, like you or even when you ride a motorcycle, like mm. you don't have nothing to block the the wind, right? Yeah. So. And then we ended up cycling down like Long Beach, uh, where they have the Daytona or like the drift. Do you guys know that when they have like the drifting in the street, they they close down the street and then they drift, like they have like the Daytona or something, or I don't know the name of it. But we ended up cycling that same route that they drifted, and like there's so much rubber, it's crazy. Like I don't know who cleans up this like aftermath of uh, all the tires because they're, they're like they're drifting, right? Uh, but we ended up cycling. I think we did 15 miles in Long Beach, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's cool to be out in Long Beach because I haven't been there in a while since I went to school there. Um, and they have like, I don't know, it feels so alive out there. Like, you know, like the big cities such as LA or, or like Long Beach. Mm-hmm. There's always like people walking, running, cycling, uh, doing yoga in the park. Like, I don't know, it feels cool. I don't know if you guys ever been to Long Beach, like when they have like the yoga times. Have you guys ever seen that? No, no. Yeah, it's like kind of near downtown. So like they have like every. I don't know the days like every Monday and some other day they have like yoga in the morning and at night. So it's like a lot of people that live there and it's free. So they do yoga like at night or in the morning, you know, mm-hmm. whenever you have your free time. Uh, it's kind of cool. Like to, so the only reason if I ever moved to like those cities is because like the, I guess like the community. Right. But the cool thing is over here that we have our own community, right? Like the baddies, like we do our own hikes or runs and stuff like that, that we host. So that's something that I want, like, when we start cycling again, I want to bring that, like, community back. Like, I want to get more people involved in cycling because I know in summer, that's when we get, like, our peak, like, people cycling with us. And I know Tina got a bike. So, Herbert, I'm excited for Tina getting a bike, bro. So Yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> yeah. She's, excited. she's like, why'd you bring it up? Now they're going to expect me to bike. Oh, well, bro, she got a bike for a reason, right? What I do know. you do with the bike? You cycle or you ride it, right? You don't just let it sit and catch dust. Oh, no, no, for sure, for sure. So I know Herbert has been MIA with the cycling, but he's going to get back into it because it's kind of cold right now. So I, I I let you pass on that, right? Thank you. And uh, don't forget that I still haven't forgotten your half marathon this year. So don't, I'm still holding you against it. And a lot of people are holding you against it. Whoever listens to this, they know that you still. Bro, I don't check the I don't check the Instagram page anymore, so I don't have no one holding me. Oh, my God. And then Ronnie has to run. Oh, Ronnie's been r- kind of running. He kind of stopped. And no, ever since he saved the day, I don't think. No, nah, he doesn't need to run. Yeah, I got a pass, bro. Yeah, you're a superhero. You got a pass after that. Are man. they gonna give you like you know what? Uh, they give you like the key of Azusa? the key to the city, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still waiting for it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So we, I, I'm excited to cycle. I know Enrique. Um, I think are you taking summer classes? Enrique? I am. I don't I'm like taking it. two summer classes. What days? Or uh, do you have free time? That's so. uh, yeah, because I believe they're in the mornings. But as long as I don't feel like I have anything to do, then I should be available. All right, cool. Because we're gonna start cycling again, and I'm holding you against it too, Enrique. No, I'm 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 not afraid of it. I'm down. I'm actually I would rather I would want to, but. And then uh, Ronnie, have you been hitting the gym? Sorry, this is accountability squad right here. So. No, oh, yeah, I went this weekend actually. Uh, one, one time. I think it was yeah, it was only once. <laughs> I think it was Saturday. I hit legs for the first time in a while, and let me tell you, man, your legs were they were too? sore. Easter Sunday, I was kind of dying. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but at the end of the day, after all that standing or, like, moving around, like, I was done, man. I was so happy to lay down. I nice. was like, whoa, this feels Herbert, good. have you been hitting the gym? I went today. That's what's up. See, yeah. Herbert? There you go. I went today. Did Tina go with you? No, she does it. She's doing her own workouts now. Oh, nice. Yeah, doing at-home workouts. Congrats like, to her. cardio stuff. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, is, is she still on um, her diet? Yes. Yeah, cool. she's, like, down almost, like, I think up to like 15, 20 pounds. Oh, damn. You're doing talking good. It's awesome. really good. Talking about diet though, I, I like, I'm, we're going to extend the podcast a little bit, but talking about diet though, I read some, some follower out there like said, do not get surgery done 
like you know like the whole bypass the whole get what is oh, it yeah. Gas- gastric bypass yeah because yeah, uh, at the end of the day like yeah it's cool because you like get to eat healthier because you like after you eat like i don't know let's say like one sandwich you feel full because you mm-hmm. like like they they restrict the it's like they put like a staple or something and make your stomach smaller. yeah they like reduce your stomach or something yeah like so so she said she said it's cool like but like it's it's not worth it because it costs a lot and why not just change your habits yourself such as tina or you herbert you know you went through some diets or fasting and stuff yeah that actually naturally reduces how big your stomach is and then not only that just cut out the sugar like Mm -hmm. literally cut out the sugar and some carbs and you'll be like good and just work out here and there and just yeah it's gonna take time it's gonna take you like well like like i don't know like two years to like get down to whatever not even in two years herbert did it like in months yeah so it's like yeah, it, you just got to be, uh, what does Ricky say, consistency and what else? I guess on average, try to make it a lifestyle. Yeah, I, I don't really agree with people when, when they try to say, like, I'm trying to meet a specific weight goal. I feel like aiming for a weight goal is not something I advise for people. I'd rather you just stick to a diet that you can handle in your lifestyle and then just be consistent with it. Just be, make it a lifestyle. Make it something like you can break it here and there, have cheat days. It's fine. You're, you're going to be fine. But consistency. Try to make it a lifestyle. Don't, don't go to the gym for a month and then stop for three years like just try to do be consistent that's it honestly so i i, I don't usually, usually support uh, uh aiming for a weight i just i'd rather you aim for health and healthy fitness i guess in your lifestyle and that's it the rest will come in, in a few months and a few years but you, you you will reach the goals you want if you just commit and then after you commit um you'll start seeing results and you'll start feeling better right herbert like you feel better i'm telling you the first time i lost weight and i started like getting back to my like I was wearing like 36, maybe 34s. And then I started wearing 32s. And like, I'm telling you all the clothes that I had from high school, not high school, but like, let's say like college started fitting me again. I was like, bro, this is awesome. Cause yeah. like, I don't know, like I, I you feel good. You And then, and then like just people start telling you stuff like, Hey man, like, Hey Ronnie, you're like, you're looking slim or you're looking freaking good. Yeah, like you look delicious stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like you're looking like a snack. Like, and then like, you know what I mean? Like you, they start telling you stuff like that. Like me, you know, like your mom and you're like, bro, like, like, that's pretty dope like, like for the first time in my mom's like my my life like my mom's like oh wow you look to me that's wop I was like oh, i look handsome never yeah. in my life because yeah i always used to be fat and disgusting for like <laughs> majority of my life and just these past couple of years my mom actually like paid attention to me asked me how Aww. i was doing Aww. so if you want your parents to talk to you um just lose <laughs> <laughs> weight no yeah. don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you want your parents to talk to you but it, it, it was funny though because uh, i'm gonna see your story real quick uh so uh in high school, we know we used to play. I used to play football and stuff for years, and we used to hit the gym every day and for weight uh, for weight training. And tell me why there'll be times where like I told my mom like she, she my mom used to make my like my meals I guess because she, she used to cook for me. So I was like, all right, like I want to do this and that. And there'll be times where like you know you know sometimes when you're around the house you take off your shirt because you're just walking around the house, right? I kid you not, my mom will be like, hey, like. Don't take stuff that you're not supposed to. And I was Damn. like, oh, like, yeah, like yeah, literally, yeah. my mom will tell me that. And I was like, Mom, like, I'm not doing what do you mean? Like, or whatever. I know, like, she thought I was taking some type of uh, enhancement. And I don't know what, like, she will literally tell me, like, she'll get mad. Like, don't do that. And I was like, the mean, like, she, I don't know, thought, I don't know, she was just telling me stuff. And I was like, what? So like, in my head, I was like, all right, that means I'm looking good. So, <laughs> I don't know. So you've had a nice body for how long? Damn. Damn. Yeah, well, I'll I'll just, just, take off your shirt right now. I'll, I'll tell you. Right now, dude. I'll start a fire in this house right now. Damn. Yeah, well, at least Ronnie's here, so we're all right. Yeah. Ronnie, <laughs> start any fire right. you want. Ronnie won't, like, Herbert, Ronnie will not take you. He will just leave you behind. I'm gonna be I got you, dude. I, I, no, I got you, dude. Yeah. yeah, so, and then <laughs> to end it, though, I want to give a, a shout out to Dida. Amber and Daisy uh, If you guys don't know them uh, Every Friday we meet up uh, We do the sunrise runs And um, you know like I just want to give them a shout out Because like they've been holding me accountable And you know what I'll give a shout out to Ricardo So Ricardo if you don't know Like I've been holding, knowing him since elementary I'm holding him accountable to meet up Every Wednesday on the on the runs Because he's kind of been going on and off And uh, you know he has no excuse Because he has no kids or no nothing like that So let's go <laughs> Ricardo uh, you're going to be running with us every Wednesday. Bulk up. Get conditioned yeah, bulk and get up. healthy. Your whole life will change. Ricardo did tell me, though, that he's going to hit the gym. So we'll see. We'll see We'll, we'll see what he has in, in, in mind. But I'll be posting some videos. If he ever goes with us, I'll post a video with Ricardo. Let's see what's up. But, uh, yeah, so thank you guys whoever's holding us accountable because, like, we see it out there. And we want to get back to you guys, like I said, like, whatever. Uh, stay tuned because in May we are going to have our British Shinora, um cleanup with uh, We Explore Earth and other groups. Uh, and also for Earth Day uh, coming up, 
uh, April 23rd. Oh, April 22nd is Earth Day, but the next day we're going to have an Elysian Park with Entrell and Keep Nature Wild and other groups, like I said. Uh, so we're going to have another cleanup, right? So stay tuned because we're going to be posting the details and the Instagram posts. And we'll like to see everyone there because we're going to do raffles and it's just going to be fun, all right? Herbert, please go. Ronnie, if you can, go. Uh, Rick is going to go for sure. He, I'm sorry, Rick. Your house is not on fire, so you're good to go. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to end it like that. Thank you guys so much. We love you guys. Uh, if you want to listen to our podcast, we have it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. And we have the TikTok videos on TikTok for, like, any workouts. And then our Instagram is in more of a funny slash, uh, like, informational and workouts, too. And just what we do normally on our day-to-day base. All right, guys. Thank you, guys.